filled with magic. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog Garage video. Got a little project today for the 2010 Silverado here. It's a uh, Z71 4x4. And uh, if you're new to the channel, it's got a two and a half inch leveling kit in the front, stock in the back. We're gonna switch that up a little bit, remove the stock blocks in the back, and uh, just switch it up a little scotch and put a little pepper on there. So these Chevys come with a stock block in between the leaf spring and the rear axle. Uh, you can remove these blocks, put it back together, and you can bring the rear height down an inch. Uh, or if you were going to raise it, you can put uh, lift blocks back here. So we're going to jack it up, support everything, loosen up the U-bolts, get the blocks out of there. I've got all new parts, new U-bolts uh, and stuff going back together, and then uh, we'll see what she looks like. So I usually do one side at a time when I'm doing this kind of stuff. I like to leave the other side of the axle fixated so it doesn't all move around or anything. You can do one side at a time, drop it down, get the block out, put it all back up, and then go to the other side and nothing's gonna really shift around on you too much. Hopefully this is in the air enough for what I need. Um, if I need to go more, I can do some adjusting. They just jack it up on the axle itself in the middle and the pumpkin. Get as high as you can, get your jack stands under the frames, let it all down, and just let the axle hang. Then you'll leave the jack underneath for now, and that way you can raise and lower uh, your height as your as need be. Looks like these are gonna be either 21 or 22 millimeter, possibly seven eighths, whatever tools you're working with. We're gonna have to see if these even come off. I don't have a torch, so hopefully, uh, you know, these things spin off there. Ugh, 22 for the win. It's 21. 21. All right. What do we got here? Get a foot up on here. Oh, yeah. These things are. Probably help if I went the right way, huh? About now is when I wish I had compressed air. The shoulder's burning already. So once you get your nuts loose, you can take your bottom cradle out of there. You can take your U bolts out of there and uh, here's your block now you're gonna drop your axle down the rest of the way I honestly thought it was gonna drop a little more than that so after searching high and low for a block of wood that would raise the spring up a little bit more for me it's come to my attention that i no longer have any just regular blocks of wood so we got a little makeshift stack of wood here but it seems to be doing the trick we just gotta get it up a couple more inches here and then uh slide the block out of there and that is your one inch stock block all right guys, so now that we uh, didn't squish our fingers from wood flying out at us and we got our stock block out of there, we can get the new U-bolts, put it all back together, torque it down, see what it looks like. Uh, but first, we're gonna put these three inch blocks in there. Wait, did you think I was, you think I was gonna squat this thing? Come on guys, you, really? Yeah, oh, man. Let's see if we're high enough. Boy, you're gonna be freaking up in the air. <laughs> so real quick, just gonna show you so I can delete this contraption. We got our block in there. Real easy, all you're looking at is lining up your uh, pin on the leaf spring pack, and then your bottom pin will go into your axle. Once you get it in there, you can drop your jack down lay your leaf spring onto the block hopefully you're lined up let's see what we got going on here just gotta convince it sometimes since this side is now dropped down a little more than that side it might look it a little uneven in there we're gonna get our new u-bolts in there and start tightening them down we're not gonna torque them yet we'll put both sides in before we torque both u-bolts um, but at least we got it in there and uh, almost halfway there. The kit I got here comes with new U-bolts and nuts and washers. 
and just reversing what you did coming apart here you're gonna get your new bolt on there slide the first one down here come on what are you doing don't tell me you're not gonna work you're gonna put your bottom that is still in there you line up hopefully everything lines up good for you but there's a chance you'll have to play with it a little bit need nuts on here and then started Get everything started here nice and even. Looks pretty good. Now we can do the other side, same thing. Get that block out of there. Snug them all down, then we'll torque them. Pull it out and see what it looks like. Yep. Yep. Woo. Yeah. Burn it. Well, I'll be honest here, this one definitely fought me a little more than the other one. A little bit here. But I always win. I should mention that depending on what kind of blocks you got, there's a chance they could be tapered. You always want to put the smaller end forward. That's typically to account for your pinion angle. These were not tapered. I would have rather had tapered, but these are what I got. You silly, still gonna send it. All right, moment of truth. I, uh, I got the U-bolt snugged up, but I like to put it on the ground before I torque them down. We can jack it up, get off our jack stands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the three inch blocks installed on the 2010 Silverado. I think the thing looks awesome. Can't believe you guys thought I was gonna squat this thing. I really hope I trolled some of you squatters. I don't squat. Diesel dog don't squat. Figured I'd come out here and give you guys a little walk around. Like I said, two and a half inch leveling kit in the front. So now we are lifted uh, two inches over stock in the back because it's a three inch block. I took the one stock one out, put a three inch block in. So it's raising it two inches from stock. And uh, I think the thing looks a lot better. It was squatting just a hair in the back and it was kind of driving me nuts. I think it's a hair higher in the back now than the front, but it gives a little bit beefier look. Banks Monster exhaust. If you missed my last video, I put the 2018 Silverado wheels on this thing, completely debadged. Hopefully soon I can get this the rest of this chrome off. I started taking off in the back. Gonna get the rest of this chrome off. Got some little rust spots we need to repair. Just did brakes all around. I just did struts all around. Got some uh, blacked out emblem here. The Z71 emblem I got off Amazon. Light bar switch in the, in the cab. a nice daily driver i'm i'm really pumped on these blocks i can't believe it took me so long to put those blocks on but it was just two inches in the front i did the extra half inch and thought it looked a little goofy i think it looks right like this i talked in the past about putting add a leafs in the back i really don't like lift blocks i'd rather just put a leaf in there but my ultimate plan is to do like a six or seven inch lift on this thing so for now to get by, I went with the blocks. I don't know if anyone will call me out on that. So yeah, that's my uh, Silverado, nothing special. It's a daily driver, but I work hard. 
to pay for this thing and do what I do to it. So I am proud of it. So guys, that's gonna do it for me on this Memorial Day weekend. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Thanks for viewing. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, let me know what you think. Know if I should go higher, if you do a six or seven inch lift someday. Maybe when I get paid off, I'll do a lift. That's when I'll spring for the lift. Until then, have a good one. I'll uh, check you guys in the next video.